Hey guys, we are here with the king of the Blindians. He's an actor, he's a singer, he's a model, he's a former football player. But most of you guys probably know him as an Emmy-nominated audience producer of the Wendy Williams Show. Also, he's a former master of ceremonies for the Brooklyn Nets. Well guys, I have Marco Glorious. Marco, so Marco, king of the Blindians. I mean, how does one get the term the king? You know what? When I started to like describe myself to my friends and say what it, what it was that I am, uh, the term Blindian was what it was. And a lot of my friends had no idea what a Blindian was, but I used to rep so hard for the Blindians that my friends started calling me, this guy's gotta be the king. He's, he's the king of the Blindians. And it kind of just stuck, you know? So <laughs> king of the Blindians is what stuck. And I've been using that, you know, ever since. So the term Blindian is half black, mm. half Indian. Yes. In Guyana, we call it Dogla. Dogla, yes, I've heard, yeah. So now <laughs> I read your mom is Afro-Caribbean from St. Kitts and Nevis, mm -hmm. and your dad is Indo-Asian from South India. Yeah, from Bombay. From Bombay, so Blindian, yes. or what Abidis is called Dogla. <laughs> I gotta ask you, I mean, growing up, you're born in America, right? Yeah, born in New York. Mm -hmm. Do you identify more as an Indian or more as a black American? <laughs> what would you say? Well, you know what? I think you identify with what, well, I identify with what I look like for the most part. So most people don't know that I'm an Indian man. Like I come across as, as a black man. So I, I do identify with being a black man, but I never disregard my roots. You know, when people, ask me, you know, are you, you know, mixed with anything? I, I, I'm very eager and happy to say what my other half is because I'm, I'm split down the middle. I'm a, in the middle. Well, yeah, my, I'm going to say my upper half is more Indian than my lower. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So, you know what? I'm going to leave that one yeah, alone. No, okay. You know, the it. top being Indian, the bottom being black. I'm going to leave that alone. But, right. you know, let's talk a little bit about Marco Glorious, the audience producer, because yeah. I went to the Wendy Williams show a couple of weeks ago. I was blown away by wow. your energy. I mean, I just sat there and I was just like studying you, <laughs> you know, you. because I'm that. in the same field. You know, I MC events as well. Yeah. And I know you're a huge MC. You, you MC internationally, nationally, weddings, sweet 16s, you name it, you're doing it. Yeah. So I sat there studying you and Normally, you know, I'm not really into the MCs, but I've got to say, you're the best MC I've ever seen. Now, studio audience, I want you to point to the person that you came to the show with today. Yes, yes, can you point them out there? Point them out. Point them out. Know, where do you get your energy from <laughs> you know what I'd say a lot of it is a mindset it's my mind that I just literally I, I approach things I approach the way that I live almost very systematically like I'm a machine mm -hmm. and I fuel myself I, I try to eat well I don't eat as well as I should but I'm very uh, I'm into the holistic way of life a lot of herbs olive leaf oregano oil I take a lot of vitamins daily um, but my mindset is really what keeps me going. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be yet. So I'm still on my path. I'm still on my grind. So there's no excuses, Marco. You got to just say nothing to it but to do it. That's how I approach my life and everything that I do. What would you say, Marco, makes a great MC? I mean, is it, is it you? Is it your audience? Are you feeding off of people? What's the secret? So, yeah, it's the transference of energy. Like I am very big on energy and I, I'm putting my energy out there and energy never, it never dies. So you throw out energy with the hopes of receiving it back and just bouncing it off of like your audience. So yeah, I think energy is very important. And for me, it's been my musicality. Um, at, the, at the Wendy show, we have our DJ, our DJ shout out to DJ Booth, uh, but also my DJs that I work with on a regular basis they know that when I'm on an event, I'm very big on music. Mm -hmm. I can call songs and I'm big on just, just knowing the demographic of, uh, of my audience and being able to say, okay, this is something that should be played. 
and have people just uh, just be in sync with what I'm trying to do for either their event or whatever I'm hosting. So I'm going to throw it out there. If you were hosting a Guyanese event, mm -hmm. what would you tell DJ Boone to play? Listen, so we're going to do, we got to get into the chutney vibe. You ah. know what I mean? I got to start it. thinking about some roti, you know, like the foods and then my mindset. Um, I'll probably play like, like, you know, a little motor, 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 yeah? Motor, 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 la wambila is a pila wambila is a pila wambila. Or I want some rum in the morning. You could bring it in a bottle, you could bring it in a flask, you could bring it in a cup, you could send it in a glass of water. Me rum in the morning, a warm me rum in the evening. Uh, is that is that? Hunter, Hunter. But that is that guy in yeah, uh, Both of those were actually Trinidad. Oh damn! But but my apologies. It'll work. It works. It'll work. But you Did know what you gotta do? You gotta you know find some Guyanese chutney. Uh -huh. You ever heard of Terry G? Wait, what about, okay, Chutney Bacchanal? That's some old school. Trinidadian. Yeah. You know all the Trinidad. Sheesh. You know what that means? You, you got to come to Guyana. You got to invite me. Yeah, we got to invite you down to Guyana. Okay. So <laughs> if you were um, emceeing for a reggae event, a Jamaican event, what would you play? Ah, uh, it depends. Like, so it's like commercial reggae. I mean, like uh, anything from like Wayne Wonder, you know what I mean, to... Um, <sighs> Let, let's go back a little old school. What, what would you play for like an older crowd? Old school? Mm -hmm. Like reggae? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with like with, with, with Bob. Of course. Um, who else? Uh, Who's your favorite modern day? You know who I love? I love Damian Marley. Damian Marley is my guy mm -hmm. um, for reggae music. I'm a big Soka fan. Um, What's your favorite Soka song? Oh, favorite Soka song of all time? Of all time? Uh, I mean, it might have to be Rupee Jump. I don't know. That's like a classic. One thing that I did know about you, and I think everybody knows about you, is your dancing. And you <laughs> picking people out of the audience to dance with at the Wendy Williams show. Yeah. But Mark, I got to ask you, tell me the funniest thing that ever happened to you as an MC. Uh, at the Wendy show? Okay. Um, sheesh, I'll say this. One time, so at the Wendy show, we create like a real big like party environment. People don't realize what they're in store for when they come to the show. Not at all. <laughs> so it's like I'm, I'm like the liquid libation or the human libation. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm the human liquor. And literally, it's, it's a rocking party from beginning to end. And one day, we had... Uh, there was this lady, this girl, who just took it upon her. She was feeling good, and as I said, it's a big party. It's a party vibe. I was on the one end of the audience, and I'm doing my thing, just, just talking to people, just interacting with the audience. And from my peripheral, I caught somebody running towards me full speed, right? And I'm like, okay. And I turn, and literally when I turn, I see this full-grown lady, this girl, <laughs> airborne, in the air. And, and I see this woman, like, being hurled towards me, or just hurled herself towards me. And I wasn't ready, but I stay ready, you know what I mean? Uh. So she literally, she jumped on me, and I caught her real quick, like, with one, one hand. And then this chick proceeded to, like, ride me, like, cowboy me. <laughs> And she like, I had the microphone in my pocket. She actually broke the microphone because she, she literally ran and jumped on me and I caught her. And then she like cowboyed me, but I, you know, and she wasn't a small girl, like, but I'm sturdy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, and, and it was so shocking. It happened so fast that, you know, and like I put her down. The audience was like hysterical laughing. And I was like, yo, late. I said, yo, yo, who, do you, who did you come here with? She came. She came to the show with her mother and her father. Oh, my God. And I was shocked that she would even do this in front of her parents. And, like, 
I told her parents, like, listen, you know, I'm sure you guys are nice, great people, but you should have beat her a little bit more when she was a kid or something like that. But I remember something like that. That happened. Um, it gets crazy. At, like, it gets. She must have read that you were a former football player. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, as I say, I stay ready, but I was shocked. I was shocked. Stuff like that happens all the time at the Wendy Show. People. Mm -hmm. It's a, you, when you come to the Wendy studio, you forget all your inhibitions, you know, like that's my goal. Whenever I'm hosting an event, I want you to forget all your inhibitions, whether it's at the Wendy show, whether it's a corporate event, wedding, whatever country I'm in, I, I want people to celebrate life. That's my goal with anything that I'm ever doing. It's just people I love, I enjoy making people feel good. At Better Vision Optical, we know you love what you see. Come in and look for that perfect fit for your fashion style and budget. We have new frames at affordable prices to have you look at your best. Shop designer name brands like Burberry, Coach, and Gucci. We also have a wide variety of sunglasses like Versace and Ray-Ban. Visit our store at 11117 Leopards Boulevard in Queens, New York for friendly personal service or shop online at buyeyeglass.com. Better Vision Optical, we make you see the difference. When looking at places that cares for the elderly, my Indian nursing home is that perfect place. We provide a clean and safe family environment with culturally experienced and qualified medical staff on site, such as doctors, nurses, physical therapists, and cooks. All of our residents can celebrate cultural festivities and have access to recreational programs with Indian TV, music, live shows, entertainment, and so much more. For the perfect place for comfort, culture, and care, bring your parents to My Indian Nursing Home, a home away from home.